Hi guys, in this video, we are going over the blood vessels of the heart in the little heart model. Now, we have the arteries and the veins, and we will start covering the arteries first. This is the aorta, and at the base of the aorta, we have two main arteries branching off. And these arteries go through this indentation, this sulcus that we have separating atria and ventricles. And this sulcus is called coronary sulcus because it is like a corona around the heart, you see, like a crown. The blood vessels that are branching off the aorta and they are going in the coronary sulcus, they are conveniently named coronary arteries. Now, we know that we need to label the heart as the heart of our patient facing us. So, this is the right side of the heart and this is the left side of the heart. When we remove this anterior aspect of the heart model, we can see here the aorta. And here we have a blood vessel that is branching off the base of the aorta and is going to the right side of the heart. So, this is the right coronary artery. And on this side, we can see right here, the other one, which is going towards the left side of the heart. So this is the left coronary artery. If we put the model back together, this is the right coronary artery. And the right coronary artery keeps going to the right and keeps going and then reaches the posterior aspect of the heart. And then it goes down between the ventricles. This artery that you're seeing right here, that is in between the ventricles, is the interventricular artery. Now, this is in the posterior aspect of the heart. So, this is specifically named posterior interventricular artery. The posterior interventricular artery brings off the right coronary artery. Now, when we look at the left coronary artery, as soon as it goes behind the pulmonary trunk, which is this, the left coronary artery splits into two. One of the branches goes down in the anterior aspect of the heart between the ventricles. And this is the anterior interventricular artery. And the other branch of the left coronary artery keeps going around like a circle. And this is the circumflex artery. Now, we are done with the arteries. Everyone remembers the anterior aspect of the heart. And basically, no one cares about the back. And that's how you do to remember that the anterior aspect of the heart is the great part of the heart. And when you remember that, you remember that this is the great cardiac vein. And in the back, no one cares. So you have a vein in the middle. In the back, this is the middle cardiac vein. Okay? Now, look at this. The middle cardiac vein runs parallel to the posterior interventricular artery. And the anterior interventricular artery right here is the one that runs parallel to the great cardiac vein. Wonderful. Now, let's look right here. Do you see this vein? You see this vein right here? That's very small. That is the small cardiac vein. But the model is lying to you. The small cardiac vein is not that small because it keeps going down. So, this right here is also the small cardiac vein. All this. The small cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, and the great cardiac vein, they all dump the deoxygenated blood into the coronary sinus right here. And the coronary sinus opens up inside of the right atrium, right there. That is the opening of the coronary sinus. Also, dumping the blood, deoxygenated blood into the right atrium, we have the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. And all this deoxygenated blood will pass through the tricuspid or right atrioventricular valve and go into the right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, this deoxygenated blood will be pumped up, passing through this 
pulmonary semilunar valve and will reach the pulmonary trunk right here. The pulmonary trunk will split into the pulmonary arteries. So you have here the pulmonary trunk. This is the pulmonary artery. Here is another one and you can see them better right here. So these are the pulmonary arteries. As you can see, these arteries have the blue color and they have the blue color because that's making a reference that they have deoxygenated blood inside them. Guys, these are pulmonary arteries with deoxygenated blood because what classifies an artery as an artery is not the type of blood you have inside them. It is the direction the blood is flowing. An artery takes blood away from the heart. A vein brings blood towards the heart, it's like venga to the heart. So these blood vessels are taking deoxygenated blood away from the heart into the lungs to get oxygenated. So these are the pulmonary arteries. After the oxygenation of the blood happens in the lungs, the blood will come back to the heart oxygenated. And these are veins because they are bringing blood towards the heart. And these are in red color because now we have oxygen inside that blood that's coming from the lungs. And then these are named pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins dump the blood inside of the left atrium right here. And then the left atrium will let the blood flow into the left ventricle. And then when the left ventricle contracts, this blood will be pumped through the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta and it goes to our entire body.